So something I've been thinking about lately is that if we're enabling kaitiaki tanga, what we need to be enabling then is rangatira tanga, matauranga Māori, and tikanga Māori. Overcoming the, the barriers between different knowledge, knowledges, different policy and boundaries. We need to be changing our policy and legislation and practices so that we're not impacting adversely on the practice of rangatiratanga or the exercise of it and matauranga Māori and tikanga. We need to be enabling all three things if we are enabling kaitiakitanga, if we're genuinely doing that. Imagine if we had marae-based initiatives all connected all the way from the mountains to the sea. If you look at the map of all the marae within um, a couple of kilometres of the coastline and the rivers, there are so many and that's it, you know. We could be really addressing a lot of the issues at, along our waterways and at the coast through our marae and through our iwi and hapu and runanga possibly. And then those partnerships that are meant to be happening between councils and iwi and hapu, they could be empowered through that sort of thing because it gives them a, a focus of something to work together on to really recognise and respect and learn from iwi and hapu. The infrastructure, the matter itself and the processes that go on there, there's so much to learn.